All right, what's up? So, in this video, I'm gonna be uh, repainting my rifle. Uh, I spray painted it camo whenever I first put it together. And then uh, over time, I've added parts. I added mud guards, um, added a new grip, new buttstock, new red dot, uh, bipod, all kinds of stuff. And so I figured it's just time to go ahead and touch it up. And I was going to do the sponge method. So we're going to be using this orange satin green. Um, I'm also cooking at the moment. So sorry about that. But yes, we're going to be using this uh, kind of orange. Uh, this is more of a green, let's say, a lighter green, and then we'll use a little bit of this, and then we'll hit it with a clear coat whenever we get done. Uh, I already did a magazine to just kind of see what it would look like, and uh, I'm real happy with how it turned out, so we're going to go ahead and do the rest. So... So something that I just forgot to mention, uh, if you're thinking about doing this yourself, uh, as you can see mine already has the first coat of paint on it, but don't forget to tape off your rifle. Uh, you want to tape off anywhere you have an exposed lens, uh, anywhere where there's an open area where paint can get into the inside of the guns, make sure you have your mud guard flipped, and don't forget to tape off your barrel. Started with this, just to try to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. We're only using three colors right now. But I forgot to video some of it, but it's starting to, it's coming together for sure. So let me set this up. So, it's the finished product. Uh, turned out really good. The orange accented everything just the way I was hoping it would. Uh, can kind of show you on one of the magazines I did a little bit better. But I did that to kind of simulate a leaf. Because uh, uh, what you're supposed to do whenever it comes to painting your gun, you can, you can really do whatever you want. It's your gun. But I did mine for the area that I am usually most in the woods. Uh, and so this pattern is just going to go perfect for where I like to hunt. I started with something small that I really didn't mind if it got messed up. Uh, so I started with my holster for my pistol. And kind of got an idea of a pattern I wanted to do. And I just 
implemented that into the fire uh, into the uh, rifle make it your own uh, personalize it don't be afraid to mess up you can always cover up over the top of it but uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out and uh, hopefully we'll get to do more here in the future